Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles DeBanson, and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today, we got a very, very interesting show for you guys. Uh, but before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. So let me go ahead and get into this topic here. Let me get into this topic. Uh, this is a topic that I stumbled upon today. Um, they really surprised me, but apparently... There is this kind of back and forth that is taking place on the Internet uh, between Stephen A. Smith and former NBA player, former NBA legend, uh, Isaiah Thomas. Right. They seem to be having this disagreement online. Now, what happened? Uh, what was it? Just last week, Friday, if I'm not mistaken, Stephen A. Smith was on ESPN and he was talking about the Indiana Pacers and the 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 Boston Celtics as you guys know they're playing this series and in the midst of them discussing this oh, Kendrick Perkins was also on the panel he then alluded to some anonymous comments that he heard about uh Jalen Brown basically speaking to maybe his marketability or whatever the hell the case was and essentially what happened was Isaiah Thomas caught a whiff of Stephen A. Smith's comments and decided to react to what Stephen A. Smith had to say by basically saying, what are you even talking about? Who are these sources and all of that stuff? So what we want to do is we want to quickly play the clip. It's only about an 18 or 20 second clip of what Isaiah Thomas was responding to. And then we're going to come back and continue on. Take a listen to what Stephen A. Smith originally had to say here. Brown, it's not so much that he's underrated. It's that he's just not liked. Because of his, quote, I am better than you attitude. He knows it. It's the same reason he is not as marketable as he should be. That's what an NBA source just sent me. So you heard what Stephen A. Smith uh, had to say in that soundbite, right? And it was those comments that caused Isaiah Thomas to go on Twitter or X or whatever to essentially call him out by name and once he put out that comment it basically sparked this back and forth between these two gentlemen uh on twitter so that's the comments that we want to get into right now but before we even get into that this video is brought to you by our sponsor prize picks which is the largest daily fantasy sports platform in north america prize picks is really simple instead of just selecting a team you just select two or more players pick more or less their projected stats and then you place your entry. For example, this week, I'm selecting two entries. Stephen Curry for more than 25 points. And then I got Anthony Davis for more than two blocks. And Damian Lillard for more for more than four three-pointers made. Price Picks is also the only daily sports platform with an injury insurance policy. So, for example, if you have a player who gets injured in the first half and doesn't return to the second half, that player gets automatically rebooted. What I also love about Price Picks is that it offers weekly promotions like Taco Tuesdays. Each Tuesday, Price Picks discounts select player projections up to 25% to provide even more value. So go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match of up to $100. That's go to pricepick.com slash CLNS, use code CLNS for a first deposit match to, of up to $100. And remember, whenever you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So let me read what Isaiah Thomas had to say. He said, I have been a friend, mentor, and advisor to Jalen Brown since he was a student at UC Berkeley. He was 100% markable. And before you slander his name, Stephen A. Smith, tell your sources to put their name on it or don't speak on it. Let it be known. That's what Isaiah Thomas said. And in typical Stephen A. Smith fashion, he picked up on, he picked up on what he had to say and he responded with the following. He said this first, this is on May 26th. I have no idea what you're talking about, Isaiah Thomas. I've been a fan of Jalen Brown for years. Still am. What's unfortunate is that you, who's known me for decades, would choose to go on X to express whatever dissent you feel instead of calling me directly. But I get it. It's a pattern several folks have used versus me recently, suddenly forgetting communication we've always had. So be it. I root for Jalen Brown always. A great dude and player. But the Celtics have to close uh, 
the deal. He then says, thank you at Kendrick Perkins because Kendrick Perkins has said, see the thing hate about clips. Is that Stephen A. Smith, the real Jay Williams, myself went on to praise Jalen Brown about his leadership and ex uh, um, uh, especially the role he plays in the black community. Then Stephen A. Smith responds, thank you, Kendrick Perkins. That's precisely my point. Jalen Brown received nothing but love on the, uh, the, this way, but evidently people want to read into and interpret what they want. I'm not giving this any more damn time. I've been doing first take for 12 years. I haven't uttered a negative syllable about Jalen Brown. If that isn't good enough, oh well, I'm out. I'm enjoying my Sunday, as Perk would say, carry the hell on. So this is the exchange. Do you know what is interesting about Stephen A. Smith? What is interesting is that Stephen A. Smith always got some issues with somebody. Just prior to this, there was a thing with him and J uh, 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 Draymond Green. And by the way, I'm on his side about the Draymond Green situation 100%. 100%. Draymond Green. I don't, anyway. But this seems to be the pattern, man. You know, uh, people always seem to have an issue with Stephen A. Smith. And it's not just one person. There literally is a long laundry list. I can name a few. Steven Jackson. Um, uh, uh, Isaiah Thomas now. Jalen Brown, uh, Jalen Brown, uh, 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 Marcellus Wiley, uh, uh, Terrell Owens, and the list just goes on and on and on. Uh, Jason Willow. The list goes on and on with people that have issues with him. Now, knowing Stephen A. Smith from afar and based off of what I know about him, Stephen A. Smith will most likely view it as people are attacking him, people are hating on him, people are trying to bring him down. Uh, and blah, 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 blah. But the fact of the matter is Stephen A. Smith has a big mouth. That's just the fact of the matter. He be saying some stuff. Like, he be saying some foul stuff from time to time. Uh, he be saying stuff that, like, he, Stephen A. Smith will say something like, you know, I heard so-and-so player got knocked out in a club, but I'm not going to go into the details. I would never disclose the details, but I, all I heard was that he got knocked out. Now, that's his personal business to tell, but he got knocked out. But if you want to know more about it, go ask. It's like, bro, you already told. You've already told. So at that point, just say what you heard, right? Say what you know, right? And that's why Isaiah Thomas said, look, if you're not going to say what you know, then just be quiet. That comment served no purpose if you're not going to go to the full extent to say exactly what the backstory is. And listen, this is what's, this is what's interesting about sports media. Sports media is really, I mean, I, I know, I'm sure they do it in other realms, but in this case, we want to focus on sports media. It's, only, it's one of the few places where you can say somebody said this and then basically say it's an unnamed source and no one gets to push back on it. Now, on this particular channel, we have never produced an article, I mean, excuse me, a show where we're talking about something that was said or done, where at least we gave a source. And we always give our source in rather in, in, in audio in an audio format or in an article there's always a source now whether or not that source is true but we can always say okay you can go pinpoint this information here whenever we do lives and we're hearing breaking stories you can go through every single live that pertains to a particular story we always have sources either instagram posts either a direct quote uh, 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 uh articles we always provide a source i can never go do a, a live and say well based on so-and-so. And now some people say, obviously, you're not a reporter. You don't know anybody. I understand that. But look, after a while, when you do stuff like that and you say something like that, finish it off in the sense that if you're going to say that and I've been told, who told you? If you're not willing to go that far, then why even bring it up? Now, some people say this is journalism and this is why you're not a journalist. Well, apparently, uh, you know, there's some issues. There's some issues that people have with it. What I want to know from you guys, what do you think about this exchange? Whatever you guys think, please give your thoughts in the comment section. We catch you on the next show. Peace.